Hello and welcome to another episode of the Medical. This is Smitty from 60cards.com. I didn't think I'd be brewing anymore until Innistrad, but I was inspired by uh, at Keys My Asset um, on Twitter. Uh, he was running a Quicksilver Amulet Eldrazi Green deck. Um, you can check it all out on 60cards.com. I've actually built a spreadsheet to keep track of test data, and you can see the test data for this deck. Um, however, this uh, I didn't start putting the the data into the spreadsheet on this deck until like the third day so I'm missing probably 30 matches or so but anyways check that out I um, wanted to show you guys how ridiculous this deck is uh, Moto as usual didn't save very many decks and I don't have the energy to write down the game names every time I play but um so I want to show you though like how this deck can get there like you usually just want to see some ramp and you usually almost always hit like the ancient stirrings you need or some extra ramp to hit the titan or the amulet. Uh, so even with a clunky hand against a control deck, like all you need to do is find that window to, to like uh, hit your amulet or hit like a primeval titan so you can get tech edges going or temples going or whatever your strategy is. Your number one strategy almost all the time in this deck, by the way, is just to go for the amulet. It's not like it used to be, uh, it's not like normal Adrazi Green with Primeval Titan coming down and basically you set up like the temples into the Emrakul and search it up. Like you want Emrakuls in your hand because you can cast them very fast. Um, obviously with Amulet you just sneak them in at a turn and only uh, Deceiver Exarch works there. Um, so that's number one plan. The next plan is like the primeval plan, kind of the old plan, but you can, since you'll probably have Emrakuls in your hand, uh, it'll probably be um, easier to cast them instead of having to search them up. So you're like a turn faster in that sense too. The thing you're missing is uh, some of the ramp spells, but that's perfectly fine actually. You can do so without, uh, because you have the amulet, which is a four drop as opposed to you having to struggle to get to six. So. Um, I knew blue black generally doesn't run spell pierce in their brew, um, so I wasn't too worried about uh, quicksilver amulet getting countered here. And it was one of my only options in Windows, so you had to go for it. Um, you can't play like a wuss; you just gotta go for the win. Uh, that tech edge at this point, there's nothing in blue black he can do uh, when he's tapped out. Like unless, well, if he was white, see, he could try to blow up the amulet or blow up like battlement so that I'd have to cast it main phase and then he could hit Emrakul with like a oblivion ring so you gotta be careful of that you gotta be careful of uh, uh, clones since he's legendary he can die uh, anytime you can cast it right end of turn that's that's the time you do it because that's the one where there's very little answers um, in the deck so obviously he's tapped out can't do anything drop him boom that's how the games go almost all the time sometimes they get drawn out uh, and you end up just like drawing an Emrakul and having the Titan and busting the Eldrazi Temple. Ancient Stirrings helps you find everything you need along your curve. The deck curves out amazing. So anyways, uh, check it out for more write-ups, etc. And hopefully some more videos soon. Uh, this I got really high hopes for this being a metagame player. Um, and we got some people at the Grand Prix going in. So we'll see how they do. So uh, uh, keep coming back and hope you enjoy the spreadsheet.